Hello, I'm Miss Libby Rose. I'm a fashion design specialist and sewing teacher. And today we're going to learn how to make a laptop skin. For the fabric, we will need two pieces of 50 centimetres by 22 centimetres. One for your outer and one for the lining, like we've got here. And then we'll need two larger pieces of 50 centimetres by 45 centimetres. And again, one for the lining and one for the outer. Then, once we've cut those, we've got all of our bits ready and we're ready to go on to the next step. Step three is pinning our pieces together. So we get the two smaller pieces of fabric and we lay them with right sides together. Now when we say right sides together, we mean the good side that we want to see on the outside of our fabric. So we pin those. Now we're going to pin along our sewing line, which is one of the longer sides. Now when we're pinning, we want to pin perpendicular to our sewing line with the head of the pin as far away from the sewing line as possible. That's so that we can leave our pins in while we're sewing. Okay, now we're at the sewing machine, we want to sew our first line that we've just pinned. So we want to sew along this raw edge. We're going to sew a foot distance away from the edge. So that's about a 0.5 seam allowance. So we're just doing a straight line. We do a bit of backwards first, start us off. And then we're just following the foot along the edge of the fabric. And then backwards to finish. Then we're back at the cutting table, take our pins out. piece over to the right side, so we have our right side showing. And at this stage, if we can roll that edge out, and just press along this edge to give it a nice sharp edge. Being careful that if you are using a velvet or a piled fabric, not to have the iron on too hot because you might burn what's underneath or you might flatten the pile of your velvet. Step five is we lay open our fabrics again and we are going to pin our small piece to our large piece of the outer fabrics. So again, we're putting right sides together and we're going to sew the whole way around here. So, again with the pinning, we're pinning perpendicular to our sewing line and we're just sewing the outer fabrics together. So we're gonna be sewing from this stitch line around, around and to the top. Now we're back at the sewing machine. We're going to sew the whole way around, sewing the outer fabrics together. So. We start again, we're going to do a foot's width against the edge. So we're going to do back stitch to start. Straight line down. Putting the needle in and turn. The next step is to do exactly what we just did with our outer fabrics but putting the lining fabrics together. So we're getting the small piece of the lining fabric and we're attaching it to the large piece of the lining fabric with our right sides together. We're gonna to stitch from the sewing line all the way around. So we take our pins out from the outer fabric and we transfer it over to our lining fabric. Again, pinning perpendicular to our sewing lines. Now in this step, we will need our tailor's chalk again because for our lining, we will need to be leaving a gap in the middle 
of our lining piece. So if we can leave between five and 10 centimeters gap in the bottom here. So you chalk that in, in a contrasting color so you can remember when you're sewing. So we leave a gap in the bottom. Now we're back at the cutting table. We've just repeated the same process as our outer fabric done for the lining fabric, but left a gap between five and 10 centimeters at the bottom of our lining fabric. And at this stage, you can just trim off any excess here. It doesn't matter if some of the um, fabric has overlapped. And we can trim our edges so trim off the corners just slightly here, minding not to get the stitching, but just right up close to the stitching. Just trim off the corners. Do that same for your outer fabric here. And for our final main bit of sewing, we want to sew the whole bag together. So we're going to be sewing from this stitch line around all the way around. Needle in. We get right up close and do a back stitch. Then we take our pins out. Trim off any raw edges. Again, go to any of the corners, trimming off right up close to the corners, just so that we can get a nice sharp edge. Done that the whole way around. Then the next step is to go to our where we've left our gap and turn the whole project through. And then using, you could use a knitting needle or just use the edge of your scissors or anything that's got a slightly sharp edge. Poke it through to get all of your corners out. And hopefully, they should come out nice and sharp because we've trimmed our edges from the inside so you get a nice sharp corner from the outside. So finally, you might want to sew up the little hole that we used to pull it all through with. No one will see this, so it's not, it's not necessary, but if you'd like to, just for professionalism, you could hand sew that up, just sew it nice and neatly. And we tuck that in there. And you could add a little buckle on the outside or frogs to, um, or any little embellishments, flowers or bows and things. Um, but aside from that, that is how we make our laptop skin. <laughs>